The idea of a pistol caliber carbine has been something of a little bit of a dream for me since I was honestly a little kid and really just learned what a PCC actually was. The idea that you could get something in a smaller form factor that shot nine millimeter or something similar that also shared the same ammo as your sidearm has been pretty freaking cool. So of course, when I learned about the Ruger PC charger, I just absolutely had to have one. So that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about today. My name is Dustin with We The People Holsters and today we're gonna be breaking down my personal Ruger PC charger build, uh, what we all did to it, how I enjoy it, some things I like, some things I don't like about it, and kind of go from there. So before we get the gun out here, I got to remind you guys that although we don't make a holster for a PC charger, although it would be pretty cool, if you need a holster for your gun, we got you, wethepeopleholsters.com. But we don't just do holsters. We've got hoodies, t-shirts, all made in America, of course. Uh, gun belts, tactical belts, right? Uh, stuff like that. We've even got bacon jerky because who doesn't love bacon jerky? So if you guys are interested in any of that stuff, you better check it out, wethepeopleholsters.com. Now, let's talk about the actual gun. So this is my Ruger PC charger. So Ruger does make this one in two different configurations. They make the PC carbine, right? Which is a much longer version. And of course the Ruger PC charger, which is considered a pistol, right? It's got this nice short little barrel on it here. A couple of things that I really like about this thing out of the box. Of course, it's got that short little barrel on it. I don't know exactly how long it is. I'd have to pull the specs, but it's pretty small. Um, it is threaded for a suppressor. So if you take this little guy off here, you'll see at the end of the barrel that this is actually threaded. So you could put a can on it if you had obviously the proper tax stamps. Oop, lost my little O-ring there, but that's threaded. Of course, comes with this nice um, thread cap as well. A couple other things. This thing does come factory taking the Ruger mags. So there's a mag well insert in here, of course, takes the Ruger mags. As you can see, this is not a Ruger magazine. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. It is a side charger, right? So from the factory, it comes with the charging handle on the right hand side here. I did flip this one around to the left. We'll talk about that again in a little bit. Uh, and then it comes back, of course, standard AR-15 hand grip here really super nice it's it is swappable compatible with every other ar-15 hand grip this is the standard one i did not opt to put a different one on it however i think i want to do like a skeletonized one on this one of course um, but really really good feels super good factory trigger is nice it's got a curved trigger here it's got a good break really clean if you've watched any of our videos you know that i'm kind of a trigger snob so this one actually feels pretty good i really like it a lot so one other thing we do need to talk about here that i absolutely love about this thing is that it is a takedown model so when you look at this guy you can see this nice seam i'm going to see if you can hopefully see that on the camera there there's a seam right here so this gun does actually break down and the whole barrel assembly comes off so this thing does actually break down really really nice and it folds down to next to nothing when you pair it with a folding brace it's a brace not a stock I'll talk about that in a little bit so put this guy back on here reassembly is really simple just slide it in index it click it into place and you are good to go now Probably one of the coolest things about the Ruger PC charger is that, like I said, it comes factory with an insert for Ruger magazines. However, they make an insert compatible with a standard full-size Glock mag. So you can get yourself a nice 30 round happy stick like this one and it'll fit right in there. When it comes to swapping that, it's really simple. All you do is take the gun apart. It kind of breaks down into two pieces, an upper and a lower, similar to like an AR uh, rifle would. And then you just take the mag insert out, you put the new one in, and then it'll lock right up with Glock magazines. Super cool. I really enjoy it. I love it because it pairs really well with this guy. So you can see this gun is clear, right? We're gonna clear that quick. But I love it because it takes the same mags as like what a Glock 19 would. So these are obviously interchangeable. You can take that off there, slide that little shorty in there. Of course, that will go in there. But really just a super, super unique little system. But you can get those guys anywhere and they're relatively affordable. So super nice there. Let's talk about the actual build now. So when you look at this thing, it's obviously not factory, right? From the factory, it's gonna come as this short little guy. It has no sort of brace at all because it is sold as a pistol. So the first thing that we did is picked up an SB Tactical folding brace. I absolutely love this thing. This is the 1913A, so it's made of aluminum, right? Super nice. It's got this little folding adapter here, so you just lift up on it, fold it around, folds in there nice and small. It actually fits inside of a backpack. I carry it back and forth to the range in the backpack. That's actually right there behind me. It just kind of nestles in there really nice. Of course, take the mag out, sits in there just like that and you're good to go. But I absolutely love this thing. This brace is super comfortable. It's really rigid, it feels good and it mounts right to that pick rail on the back. So no worries about trying to make sure that it mounts correctly or anything like that. Folds to the left side, of course. Um, I did flip that over. Normally it folds to the right. I did flip it so it folds to the left, mostly because when I picked that gun up, 
I wanna be able to fold it and then shoulder it and make it look really good. Moving right along then, the next thing that we did, of course, is this nice Vortex red dot. So if you guys aren't familiar and you'd probably be living under a rock if you haven't heard of Vortex, uh, they're from actually Wisconsin, just like we are here. Uh, so Upper Midwest Company, of course, comes with a lifetime warranty. Nice little red dot here, super, super awesome. The price point on them is fantastic and the durability is top notch. And of course they come with a lifetime warranty. They do a really good job. The guys at Vortex really hooked it up for us here. Super excited, I love it. This thing is dummy accurate, especially at any shorter ranges, right? Anything that you would normally shoot a nine mil at, it is super accurate. It stacks them right on top of each other and just a really, really, really good looking gun. And then of course, as we keep moving to the front of it here, we couldn't uh, have the entire build without the Odin GL Mini from Olight, of course. So it's a tactical flashlight. You can actually take this guy off here. Pops off with the little quick adapter there. It's got the, uh, the lock on the side of it so you can pick it up if you need to. It's got a flashlight. That's the laser. It's got a flashlight and laser. Flashlight only, and then of course the laser. Well, I pointed the camera, but I don't wanna break the camera. Slides right in here, mounts right to an M-lock system, of course, which works perfectly considering the PC charger has this little M-lock rail all the way around in the front. And that's pretty much it. This thing is an absolute blast to shoot, you guys. It handles well, it feels flawless, the trigger is really nice, it breaks down super small. And if you're looking for a pistol caliber carbine slash sub gun, if you would almost call it, this thing slaps. Now, not the cheapest on the market, right? It's not gonna come in like a Kel-Tec Sub 2000 or something like that. I think the PC charger by itself is about 700 bucks, 750 bucks, depending on if and when you buy it. But really, really fun gun. Every person that shot this thing tells me how much they love it, how much they want one of their own. And it's just a dream come true, especially, like I said, for a guy like me who is, uh, who has really enjoyed the pistol caliber carbine style gun for quite a long time. So we always joke here at the office, we always say that this is the best uh, zombie apocalypse gun if you, ha uh, if you would have because it takes those same Glock mags as like what your sidearm would. And it's just a really fun gun to shoot. So with that, that's enough out of me. Let me know what you guys think. And I hope that you guys had as much fun with this video as we did. Obviously we had a blast shooting it. It was a ton of fun uh, with that intro sequence. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. We've got a ton of content coming for you guys and we really think you're gonna enjoy it. With that, my name is Dustin with We The People Holsters. We'll see you guys on the next one. Stay free, friends.